We talk so much about changing other people on this channel. Well, today we're going to talk about how you can change characteristics about yourself, maybe cooking, your memory. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today we're going to talk about how you can create and change characteristics about yourself. So whether it's being a better cook or having a photographic memory, I mean, whatever you want to create within you, you can. And we are going to talk about how to do it in this video. So if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, each one of them with the intention that you're going to create something wonderful in your life. And as well, if you're looking for some coaching, we have some excellent coaches here at Create Your Future. The link is in the description below. And also the new thing we're starting with these videos is when you guys watch them right now, create an, an, an intention of what you want to gain from this video. Okay. So right now, I intend to understand how I can change characteristics about myself, or I intend to have a breakthrough, or I intend to understand the law of attraction all that much more better. Okay, whatever, it's up to you. So create that now. So let's, before we dive into it, I just, I have a mailbox, guys, and somebody sent me a letter on October 28th, and her name was Annie. Now, Annie, I received your letter. I've attempted to email you. However, I'm not sure if I got your email address correct. So if you can go to the description, there'll be my email. It says for business inquiries, and I'll have my email address, which is cyfnlp1 at gmail.com. Please email me. I'm looking to get a hold of you. Okay, awesome. Great. So let's dive straight into this. So Let's talk about how you can create characteristics within yourself, okay? So the first thing I want to say is it's not just creating one intention and that's it, okay? It's never about just creating one intention, okay? Because we want to live from the end of something. So one of the examples I'm going to use is how to have a better memory. So I intend to have a photographic memory. That one intention probably isn't going to be enough, okay? Because... We've got other blocks like, oh, I can never remember anything, you know, stuff like this, right? So when you sit down and you say, okay, look it, I intend to have a photographic memory. Okay, you also want to support that with other intentions like, I remember names easily. Okay, in case ever in your life you had said, well, I can never remember people's names. <laughs> you know, so I can remember names easily. You know, you might want to add in there, I always, you know, recognize people and I can always put a face to a name. You know, um, you know, I always remember things I choose to remember. Um, so you want to add every intention in there. So and you want to catch yourself throughout the day. So like, you know, if, if somebody is like, oh, you yeah, know what? Remember, remember that. Remember where that is. And then you catch yourself going, I'll never remember that. Say, no, <laughs> no, I intend to remember it. Now, I do have a photographic memory, but it's not like I can just look in a room and then all of a sudden be like photographic memory about it. I actually have to commit things to memory. So I'll say, you know what? I intend to actually remember this. I intend to memorize this. And once I do that and I take a moment to be present in the moment, and actually commit it to my memory and visualize it, then I end up having, you know, that stays in my memory. Now, the one big thing, okay, that I want to explain about this is it's a process, okay? It's not just one intention and then boom, we have a photographic memory. Because every once in a while, you know, somebody will say to me, well, you have a photographic memory, but you don't remember that. And then my response is always, well, I didn't actually pay attention and intend to remember that. So that's why it's not there. So if you don't remember something, okay, it's not about, oh, this didn't work. This didn't work. It's about, well, wait a minute. I mean, I didn't actually take any time. I didn't think I had to remember that. And I didn't take the effort and time to intentionally apply that to my memory. Okay. So that's how you would create, you know, having a photographic memory, for example. Okay, let's use another example. Okay, cooking. Okay, so how to be a good cook. Okay, so again, if you want to do your affirmations, I'm a good cook, I enjoy cooking, enjoying and feeling good about it is a huge thing. Okay, now, 
What you want to do is you want to create every intention. I enjoy cooking. You know, everything I cook turns out really well. Now, the one big thing, though, I want to caution, say, when you're trying to create that you are a good cook, and let's say you cook something and it doesn't work out, and you're like, oh, this isn't working. I'm not a good cook. But you've got to stop yourself and be like, no, you know what? It's no big deal. Every like, you know, major chef and professional chef has made a dish that they've screwed up. I'm really good at cooking. And there's been a few dishes that have gone in the garbage and we've ordered pizza because they just didn't work out that one time. Also, you want to be present in the moment when you're actually doing the activity. OK, so while you're cooking, this is going to turn out. This is going to turn out perfectly. This is going to turn out just the way that I want it. You know, the other thing to gain confidence is, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking a cooking course to learn some skills. You know, I know, for instance, I'm really good at baking and baking has actually got a bunch of methods and you have to do things a certain way or they won't turn out. And that's sometimes the same thing as cooking as well as there's, you know, certain methods to make roux and other things. So, you know, even manifesting a cooking course is still a manifestation to get you towards what you want to actually get. So it may not just be one intention. I intend to be an excellent cook and for everything to turn out, there may be more things that need to be added in there. So things like, you know, sure, you know what? I try new recipes and, you know, after a few times they do turn out or they do turn out every single time. But my point is, is not to be discouraged if they don't turn out and say that it's not working. Okay. And then other things that you may want to do is, you know, take a cooking course or watch some cooking shows or watch some cooking tutorials. But the main thing is, is that you enjoy it. And even when a dish doesn't turn out going, it's okay, I am still a good cook, you know, and and putting that confidence in yourself. Okay. So yeah, the point of it is to throw as many intentions on as you possibly can. Okay. And to be on a strict mental diet. Okay. And if you've got any hangups about, you know, something like, you know, some trauma from your past about, you know, your memory or like, you know, cooking or anything else. I mean, you definitely want to clear that up because you have to feel good about it and you have to enjoy doing it you know, to really, you know, put your all into it, you know, and allow yourself to to not be perfect. Like, you know, it's like, oh, that souffle didn't work. Okay, well, instead of beating ourselves up that we're not a good cook, let's take a look at how we can maybe adjust the recipe or change it or, you know, going forward, you know, say you wanted to memorize something and you couldn't, then, you know, what was at the time? Were you tired? Were you not paying attention? Were you not actually concentrating enough or whatever the case may be, right? So yeah, so that's how you would change and create characteristics in yourself. You can change things within yourself. I used to be an incredibly disorganized person. Now I'm incredibly organized. And again, you know what? It took thought and it took time. I kept saying, I intend to be organized. I intend to be organized. But that didn't magically organize my file cabinet. Okay, that took some time of me sitting down and coming down with coming up with an organization, you know, like plan that worked for me. Okay, because I was notorious for like organizing stuff and then forgetting how I did it and then everything would be a mess. So now I created an organization plan that makes sense for me. I know it inside and out. And now I'm incredibly organized. You know, I never used to be disciplined in getting stuff done. Now I'm disciplined in getting stuff done because every time I tried to procrastinate, I'd stop myself and, you know, get myself focused and, and back and disciplined to do it. So, you know, things take work, right? And the important things are is when you are creating a new characteristic in yourself is not to beat yourself up if you haven't manifested it yet. It's to go easy on yourself and let yourself learn and say, what can I learn from this souffle? not rising? What can I learn from that not being committed to memory? What can I learn from forgetting my organizational system and having to redo it? <laughs> what can we learn from those little things that we like to call failures, which are not, they're actually learning opportunities, you know? I mean, what was it? Thomas Edison, they said, built a, made the light bulb and he could tell you like 2000 ways how not to build a light bulb until he did it. He failed all those times, but all those times got him to what he actually wanted to build. He didn't say, oh, that's it. I intended to make a light bulb and it failed once. I'm done. I can't manifest it. No, he went back and said, okay, so I know how not to do it that way, how not to do it that way. And then eventually he got to his end goal. So it's not so much, you know, having not having any failures. It's what we do in those times when we have a perceived failure and how we choose to look at the failure. I, I, I choose to never look at anything as a failure, but a learning opportunity for me to see how I could do something differently or better to get me towards what my end goal is.
Okay. Go easy on yourself. You're the only one that can judge you because you're the only person in your reality because everyone is you pushed out. So go easy on yourself and, you know, and everything that happens, you know, intend that it's getting you closer to being a better cook. I mean, I screwed up so many dishes. Okay. And now I know how not to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it differently next time. So, you know, take a look at what things you want to create. And remember, you know, you want to keep a track of your self-talk. You want to create more than one intention. So a lot of intentions. So it may be, I feel good about this. I can do this. I'm confident. Um, you know, I can change things about me. And you really want to put focus on creating your story that your story is supporting you being a good cook and not letting any failure mean that your manifestation isn't coming. Make the failure, perceived failure, mean that you're actually getting better because you've learned something from that. Anyways, that's my video for today. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are all amazing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.